All right, what's up guys? It's Psycho here. I uh, haven't made one of these coin roll hunting videos in a while, so I figure I'd just go through my whole collection again, things I don't remember what was on the last video. I don't really feel like watching it, so I got a uh, 1940s Mercury Dime here. And that's the only one of those I have. So now onto the American ones. Got the 1956. 1958D, 1961D, I got a 1962D, a 1963D, and this one is actually really nice. That's why it says gem up there. It's in like absolute perfect condition. I just opened up a roll and it was plopped right on on top. 1964D, that one obviously does not look very nice. Alright, now I've also got some Canadian dimes here. Got the 1962. Got a 1963. I have a 1968, which is not magnetic. I did I did uh, check it because apparently 68, there's like three different types. There's only one silver one, which is not magnetic. And all the other ones are, and they're not silver. So, gotta check those ones. And this is not a dime. I thought it was a dime because that's what I found it in, but it is an 1870 Canadian nickel that was in an American dime roll. Is it going to work for me? I hate this thing. It doesn't zoom in when you want it to. Oh, oh, there we go. 1870. Alrighty. Now all the rest of them are going to be messed up. Oh well, we got, this isn't silver, but uh, I figured I'd pull it out. I found a 1938 Jefferson nickel. Uh, I, yeah, I doubt it's going to work here, but uh, oh, that glare. This is the um, first year of the Jefferson nickel, right after the, uh, come on, right after the buffaloes. Well, Forget that. But, yep. I also have some 39s and from that point on, but the important ones are these ones 1943P, 35% silver war nickel. Another 1943S this time. This one's really worn out. Both of them are. Got a 1944P. This one's actually in pretty good condition. It's not as bad. The other ones are 1944P, 1944P, 1945S. And for those of you that don't know what a uh, silver war nickel is, this one doesn't say 35% silver on it. <laughs> it's uh, on the back there, above the, build the building, you'll see the S. If there's ever a mint mark above the building on the nickels, they're silver. And there's only a couple of years, what was it, like 1943, 44, and 45, and that's it. And 42, I believe. I don't have one, though. So. What are these? These are Swiss francs. I don't know. I had a box of coins, and these are in it. This one's from 1962. I looked them up. 83.5% silver. I also have a 64 one. Same thing. Alright, it's been so long since I've even seen this. I don't remember what it's called. But here it is. Oh, the Morgan dollar, yeah. I think that's what it is. 1883S. Yeah, there it is. Morgan dollar. There we go. 1921S. And then I've got the Peace dollar here. 1922. I don't think this has a mint mark on it. Well, if it does, I don't know where it is. Alright, then I have some barber half dollars here. 1901 and 1902. I don't know what's wrong with this one. This one's ugly though. This one looks alright. And I've got the American half dollars here. 1964, obviously, the rare one. For these, anyway. 90% silver. And then I got a 67, which is, uh, was it 40% silver? 
And then on to my favorites here, quarters. Silver quarters are my favorites. How many I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Look at that. All right, this is the earliest one I have, four to five, and 56. And then another 56. Got a 57, 58. Another 58. This 58's in really nice, really nice condition. It's a demon mark. And some regular old 58. Got a 59. Got a 63. And the last year, 64. And then Canadian coin again. The Canadian quarter here from 1951, which is 80% silver, I believe. I did look up all these coins from other countries. There's obviously no idea about any of them, but. And then, onto some other silver stuff here. I got my one ounce .999 fine silver Independence Day bar from 1973. Why? Because this is the closest thing to one of those one ounce bars that other people have that I could find. Alright, this stuff isn't taken out already. Hold on one second here. While I open this. This is my 1991 American Eagle one ounce proof coin in its original packaging with the certificate of authenticity. <laughs> the person that sold me this didn't know what a proof coin was, so I got this for the same price as one of these other ones I got here. I got four more of them for you. Let me just take them out here. Probably should have done all this before I started the video, but whatever. Yeah, and there's the nice little proof one there. It's all shiny. And these are, I've got one, two, three, four other ones. They are, uh, these are all uncirculated. They are 2013, though. Like, right out of their original packaging. These are all one ounce silvers. Right out of the packaging into these individual bags here. They're all in perfect condition because as soon as I got them, I just put them in this box here. That's where they've been. But this is definitely the better one. I got this um, proof one here for like, well, 40 bucks. It's worth a lot more than that. Especially since it's got its original packaging and everything. But then I got all these ones here too. I believe that's about it for all my silver anyway. Sorry, it's probably blurry. There's all the coins. I got more silver coming that I purchased. It isn't here yet. Maybe they'll come. One of them will be here in the mail maybe today. But uh, besides that, I don't really think I got anything else to show you guys. I mean, besides the silver stuff, I've been getting stuff like this Canadian pennies that uh it's a 1950 with some red to it. it's pretty nice since canada doesn't do the penny anymore discontinued the penny there they've been coming down to america and i'm finding them a lot i got almost a roll a whole roll of nice ones under 1970 i don't know where they are right now but and just the last little thing here, found a, uh, a proof nickel. I don't know if you could tell because it's in this plastic wrap here. But it's uh, a 2000S proof nickel. Yep, that's about it though. So, see you guys next time I find anything interesting. Maybe I'll do another video on the silver stuff that I purchased comes in the mail, but yep. see ya. Thanks for watching.